So this is uh, showing how how this is set up pretty much like the Embira. If you were sitting at the Embira, this is my left hand and it would look like this. So here's how you play the, uh, the, the uh, major scale. It's like this. So, and then this is like the major chord would be this, this one, this one, and this one. So, that would be like the thumb goes down. And the fingers go up. Now, if the fingers come towards you, then they hit both of these. But if it goes directly up, it just hits the one. And if it goes down, it just hits the, low, the lowest one everywhere. Like if I go along this string. I'm always hitting the lowest string. If I go up, here I have to switch to the next higher. So all the fingers are tending to go up and the thumb is tending to go down like, and here it is on the higher string and across all of them. the fingers scraping across them all as rather than just but so that's the whole all the octaves now typically when you play a note you have uh, three places that you can play it like here's the C I can play it here at the lowest position, in which case it's really buzzy. Or I can play it up here between these two notes on either side, in which case it sounds like a piano. And then I can play it up here where it's right next to this one, uh, which in which case it sounds more like a harp. Here I'll do that with this next one. Harpsichord. And then here, piano. And then here, harp. And then here on the next one, harpsichord. And then piano. And then harp. Harpsichord piano and harp so you can basically get different sounds by where you play the same thing so here's like a, a, a playing a, a major chord on the lowest note see I can play the major chord on the lowest notes anywhere but then I move it in move it this way, that way, and it sounds higher. So here's lowest, and there's the highest, only the highest, and the lowest, all of them. The minor chord is this finger, this thumb, and the 
little finger here, so it's like... Basically, it's like you're playing the Embira from the side. Um, uh, another feature of this thing is, is that you can play it with a guitar pick. One of the things is to remember is the highest notes, the highest up strings are the lowest notes, and the lowest down strings are the highest notes. You can pluck with any finger up. And with the thumb down. This way. <laughs> 